EA Play and Game Pass, there's a little trouble in paradise. But the trouble may not be too much to be concerned about. Actually, Microsoft was expected to announce today that EA Play for Game Pass on the PC was available and you could go play all those titles just as you would anywhere else. Uh, but actually, that's not being announced today. Microsoft is actually writing, when we originally set out to write this blog post, which would announce the availability of EA Play on PC with Game Pass, it looked a little bit different. Unfortunately, what we had to what, what had been a celebratory post is now one asking for a little more patience. We made the decision to delay uh, until 2021. So that is sort of the, the crux of the announcement is that, hey, they, it's not coming today as expected. So people are more than likely wondering why, and I think I understand why. Obviously, this is not a business agreement issue because if it was, Microsoft and EA Play would not have announced this. It would not have announced something as substantial as this without the ink having dried on the contract. I very much in the camp of this is more of a technical challenge. Now, you might be saying, but they've already done it on the Xbox. Well, the Xbox is completely different, right? Microsoft owned the complete stack. They owned the OS, the hardware, the game delivery system, and all they had to do was probably just make a few changes in a SQL database somewhere and then all of a sudden you can play all those EA titles. Now on the PC it's completely different because EA had its own infrastructure, games are running on Windows, it's just a more complex environment to give those digital entitlements over to Game Pass subscribers. So that is my guess here is that this is more so just a technical challenge rather than say like something you know something happened behind the scenes and fell apart. Um, that being said so the next big question is when is this going to arrive? My gut would tell me that this is going to arrive much sooner in 2021 rather than later. Considering it was going to go live today, they were obviously trying to hit that deadline and they missed. And they're not going to launch it here in the, the second half of December because of the holidays. And so that means it's probably being punted to early 2021 when they give a better end user experience because they don't want to launch this and have people just really up in arms saying it doesn't work because then you end up with a cyberpunk issue. And uh, we all know how that's playing out for them. Anyways, um, so be on the lookout for an updated release date on that. And as always, I'll keep you updated on whenever I'm hearing as well. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.